Francisco has launched an aggressive effort to clear the homeless encampments in the city's tenderloin, but KPIX 5's Wilson Walker reports that's made the problem worse in other neighborhoods. The city had just over one month to clear 70% of the tents in this area, and they did it. A lot of streets reflect that. Others, however, do not. The conditions on Willow, for example, are getting a lot of attention, and then there is what's happening in the neighborhoods beyond the tenderloin. I have been here since 1973 and in this current residence since 1988, and it has never been this horrific. Stepping outside his Castro home, David will walk right into the city's homelessness crisis within about a block and in just about any direction. Tent encampments, the most visible bellwether of this crisis, seem to be arriving in waves again from the mission and south of Market through the panhandle even in the farthest reaches of the avenues. In, in the 45 years I've been out here, I've never seen anybody pitch a tent on the street. Just this week, the city resolved a sizable encampment behind the La Playa Safeway. We had a, uh, one of our neighbors get a petition. We had over 100 people. Because with the tents is coming a wave of frustration as some encampments vanish and others simply grow. So if they can reduce them by 70% in the tenderloin, why can't they do at least that well in our neighborhood? I have never seen the level of frustration as high as it is now. Um, and I hear daily from people who are saying they are selling, they are leaving. Supervisor Raphael Mandelman says years of patience is giving way to a sense that the problem is slipping out of hand while he supports the city's long term housing plans. He says the short term strategy is less clear. How do we manage the streets? How do we address the needs of people who we cannot house in permanent supportive housing, who we aren't going to have a unit for, not today, not tomorrow, maybe not in a year or two. So while ground has been gained in the Tenderloin and some 2,000 people have been sheltered in hotel rooms, ground is being lost in other areas of the city where the suffering continues. It has been an incredible problem for for years, but it is feels to me like it's reaching a, a boiling point. We reached out to the city's Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing for this story. So far, no one has been made available to speak with us in San Francisco. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.